Welcome to St. Anne Lenten Reflection Podcast. Throughout this Lenten season, we will be praying in the form of Lexio Divina. We will be reading from the daily gospel reading and hearing a reflection from a parishioner at St. Anne. After the gospel is read, there will be a brief moment to reflect on how the Lord is speaking to you through the scripture. Today's reflection will be given by Tim Jara. Let us now prepare our hearts as we listen to the word of God. Come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit. Today's gospel is from John chapter 5 verse 17 through 30. Jesus answered the Jews, My father is at work until now, so I am at work. For this reason, they tried all the more to kill him, because he not only broke the Sabbath, but he also called God his own father, making himself equal to God. Jesus answered and said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, the son cannot do anything on his own, but only what he sees the father doing. For what he does, the son will do also. For the father loves the son and shows him everything that he himself does, and he will show him greater works than these, so that you may be amazed. For just as the Father raises the dead and gives life, so also does the Son give life to whomever he wishes. Nor does the Father judge anyone, but he has given all judgment to the Son, so that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me, has eternal life and will not come to condemnation, but has passed from death to life. Amen, amen, I say to you, the hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so also he gave to the Son the possession of life in himself. And he gave him power to exercise judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this, because the hour is coming in which all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and will come out, those who have done good deeds to the resurrection of life, but those who have done wicked deeds to the resurrection of condemnation. I cannot do anything on my own. I judge as I hear, and my judgment is just, because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. Yeah. All right. So what, what a gospel reading. I, so I love this and I had a couple of like things stand out to me just as I was praying with this gospel. Um, the first thing that really jumped off at me just as I prayerfully read um, was that first line of Jesus. My father is at work until now. So I am at work. And I love that so much of just like, Hey, my, my, my dad's at work. So am I like uh, him and I are one. And I think that's one of the major kind of themes here, but then like, right. The Pharisees here for this reason, they tried all the more to kill him. Like the tensions are high and they're doing it because of blasphemy. They think Jesus is committing blasphemy. He's claiming to be God equal with God. And what's crazy about this is that like he is God right? Like Trinity, like co-equal in power with the Father and the Holy Spirit. But their expectations of who the Messiah would be is not that. And so here they are, they're, they're upset. Tensions are high. They want to kill him. They think he's committing blasphemy, but he is God. Um, yeah. And just kind of calling to mind, like my own expectations um, and God kind of always blows those out of the water. The truth of who God is, um, how, how am I conforming to that truth rather than trying to fit God into the box? Um, of how I think things should go. So anyway, there's that. Um, I love also the father loves the son and shows him everything that he does. You know, I have a son, um, you know, named Aaron and, and like, I love Aaron so much. 
and I want him to be a part of what I'm doing, but I also see how he wants to be a part of everything I'm doing. And sometimes it's like, I'm just trying to screw in the screw. Like I, I can do it so much easier, but he wants to hold the screwdriver and be there with me. And but there's something beautiful about Jesus talking about his dad and the father wanting to share everything with his son. So I think that comes to mind. Um, something else that's interesting about this gospel passage um, here is, is later on when it says, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life and will not come to condemnation, but has passed from death to life. And I love that. And there's that run, I think it's a song right now that a lot of us are worshiping with called Run to the Father, where it, there's a line in it that says running into your arms is running from death to life. And I just think that's um, a really powerful image. You know, Jesus, I heard this quote once, Jesus didn't come to make bad people good. He came to make dead people alive. And when I read that, that's what comes to mind. It's like Jesus just wants awakening for my heart. He wants me to come alive. And every time I turn to him, it's turning away from death and turning to life. Um, you know, as I was praying with this, one last thing that kind of stood out to me was um, grace. Like the church is teaching on grace is that grace is, it's God's own inner life. And in the sacraments, we can come and receive God's own inner life within us. And how crazy that is. Like what makes God God, him himself. Like when God gives a gift, he gives himself. And um, when, when it says, for just as the father has life in himself, his own life, that's what he's trying to share with me um, through prayer and in the sacraments. And so I think right now, um, just feel called to kind of lead a prayer about inviting the life of God more into me, um, into all of us, especially this Lent. So yeah, let's just, let's pray. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Lord Jesus, we praise you and we thank you. Thank you for your great glory, God, and we thank you for your life that you desire to share with us. God, how crazy that is that you just overflow. Um, you pour out your love into our hearts. God, I pray that our hearts are open to receive you. There are no walls, no obstacles, Lord. That we're just whatever you want, Lord. We want it to. Our own expectations of you, of what you th we think you should do or be like, Lord. You surpass those expectations. We thank you so much, Lord. Mother Mary, I ask that you pray for us right here and now. As together we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. We hope you enjoyed the Lenten Reflection Podcast. The state and vision is to bring people to Jesus, form disciples, and send them to transform the world. Share this episode and invite someone to join you on the journey to Easter. To learn more about St. Anne, go to stanneparish.org. God bless.